Am I wrong for saying Arsenal need an attacking signing? Arsenal need players with creativity. There's a rising star, a young Turkish international. I am not talking about Arda Galur, but there is a gem of a footballer, a player whose stock is rising, a player who has all the technical tools to thrive, not only for Arsenal, but also in the Premier League. Kenan Yildiz, forgive me for mispronunciation, is a Turkish international who currently plays for Juventus and is early doors in the season. However, he is having quite a productive season statistical wise and also with the eye test for Serie A fans, Juventus fans and general footballing fans who have been paying close attention and monitoring him. He has been linked with Arsenal before as far back as 2023 and I must admit now I can see why. Primarily he's an attacking midfielder. He is known for his creativity, his vision on the field, his technical abilities and it's no doubt why he is attracting attention from other top European sides and I'm sure Juventus badly wanting to sign a new deal. He's best at home as a creative midfielder although he can operate and play in various offensive roles. For me he's got good vision, creativity, acts as a playmaker. As I mentioned He's got a high technical level. He's got great balance, lovely footwork. He's able to play and thrive and navigate in tight spaces. And he delivers quite decisive and precise passes to his teammates. What's there not to like? He can actually play as a central forward 10 and on the left-hand side, even though he's right-footed. He joined Juventus from Bayern Munich in 2022, where he spent the last decade developing his talents. After a short period in the youth sides within Italy, he, after impressing in pre-season, Maximiliano Allegri starved him of football but did give him an opportunity. Currently, his statistics might not be anything eye-catching for Juventus. 48 appearances, I believe, four goals and three assists. However, this season... In the Champions League and also in Serie A, he has 16 appearances, four goals and three assists. This season, he's been quite good, really. And some of you may have seen in the thrilling 4-4 draw versus Inter Milan for Juventus, he actually netted a brace. He would be perfect for Arsenal, not just because he's young and he fits our remit, not just because we need creative players, not just because he's able to fill in for Martin Odegaard and potentially for me operate off the left, but he would give us greater attacking options and he would thrive. And at 19, he's only going to get better. I don't want to be disrespectful to Fabio Vieira or things of that ilk, but he could be that versatile attacker, everything that Fabio Vieira was projected to be. I mean, what's there not to like about a right-footed player on the left? He likes to operate in the left half, half space. Now, he could provide width a bit like how you see Saka on the right-hand side more in the half spaces and Martinelli's providing a lot more width. Ideally, you want this individual, you know, closer to his teammates inside the centre of the field where he could play neat little one-twos and connect with his players. He scores quite high where you look at build-up play and all of those kind of things, especially possession in tight spaces. Once again, he would tie in with the youth strategy that Arsenal were doing and his stocks would continue to rise as well as us as a football club. If he's able to fulfil his potential, he, this could become one of Europe's standout young midfielders in my opinion, whether that's, on, whether that's in the Serie A for Juventus or in another division. You'd imagine Juventus are going to give him an improved deal and he's got no reason to leave currently under Thiago Motta. He's playing a lot of football. However, at 19 years of age, his stocks continue to rise. He'll continue to excel and gain plaudits. He admittedly is still such a work in progress. I mean, he's only got 39 Serie A appearances and 16 appearances for Turkey. But if there was a player I would want to test the waters and see if Juventus would want him to go with the riches that Premier League teams have to offer, he's right up our street. Of course, common sense will prevail. The man's an attacking midfielder. You expect to see his passing statistics and things of that ilk to be quite high, in which he has. But we've got to remember, not just at Arsenal, under Mikel Arteta and within Arsenal's system, you have to be able to defend and go the other way. Now, the man plays in advanced positions. He's never going to be the best defender or best defensively minded player. But when you scratch beneath the surface, people, and you look at his defensive statistics, there's actually a lot of positives, which would show he would be able to deal with the rigours of the Premier League and and be willing to do that. I mean, if you're not willing to do that for Juventus, you definitely are not going to do that in the Premier League. So I think he's a raw, blank kind of canvas that if his potential can be harnessed, the world's his oyster. And where you look at a couple of young Turkish 
footballers, Turkish fans should be excited because your national team's going to benefit. In conclusion, despite us being linked with him several times, I don't think we're going to move for him. I think we probably have to go for a winger or a striker. However, if there is a willingness to get a deal done by Juventus, if this man would entertain Arsenal, if Mikel Arteta would be willing to get a move done, I certainly would not be upset. But that's just my thoughts in a quick video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. I will get some more videos out of this ilk. Peace.